a lot of this work that we in the suggestions both in the first and the second climate survey have taken a while and taken a long time coming because they've required um, staff and faculty here to change the way that they think about not only diversity but just their everyday practices and you know when you um when you're at any place where primarily straight, primarily white, primarily male people are working, um, and this isn't to harp on them at all, but when you have that perspective, um, sometimes you can't see the barriers that are in the way for people who aren't straight or aren't white or aren't male. Um, and that's just a lived experience thing. So I think that they're doing a great job. And it's just going to keep getting better as we keep learning and as we keep having these conversations. The campus really represented the larger culture of Jacksonville, which is not very LGBT friendly. There's not a lot of understanding about LGBT issues in the community, about who LGBT people are. There aren't any sorts of non-discrimination policies within the city of Jacksonville to protect LGBT people from um, job discrimination, housing discrimination, public accommodations discrimination. And so... Um, there was definitely a mix of, I would say, not just apathy, but also um, downright negativity about LGBT people.